Hello my friends and welcome to another video. Today we are gonna be trying a bunch of clothes from Abercrombie. I feel like Abercrombie is kind of in the midst of a really a big comeback. Like they've definitely had a resurgence in popularity, especially on social media. And this has been one that you guys have been requesting for a while. So today is finally the day, it's happening. A brutally honest review of Abercrombie. And we're trying everything in three different sizes. So you can see how it all works on a variety of bodies. We have Kenzie, who's typically a small, Jess, who usually wears a large, and me in a 2X. We'll give you guys all the details on the fit, the style, the quality, and uh, be brutally honest about it. If we love it, we'll tell you, but if we don't, we aren't gonna sugarcoat it. Links to everything will be down in the description if you wanna shop or maybe like the YouTube shopping tab if I can actually figure out how to get that to work now. <laughs> While you're clicking around down there, make sure to click the subscribe button and uh, join the Schultzy Collective. We post new videos twice a month and uh, would love to have you as part of the community. Now let's get into the video. Let's see what Abercrombie's all about these days. So if you guys had any recent experiences shopping with Abercrombie or being like tempted to buy, Definitely tempted. I see them all over TikTok and like their clothes are cute. I just, I'm lazy, I guess. I don't know. I just <laughs> haven't bought them forever. I feel like Abercrombie is one of those stores where I pick things out in their cart to go to events and they die in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm especially excited to try a pair of the denim because that's also something mm. that stays in my cart and that I have friends who try it and they love it, especially their like curve line. Yes. yes. I have a pair of the Abercrombie Curve Love Dad shorts that I tried for a video like two years ago and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're like my favorite denim shorts, but I haven't then taken the step to trying their jeans, which we're gonna do today. So uh, shall, shall we get to the unboxing? It's unboxing, I'm excited. Oh man. <laughs> so we each picked two outfits for the review. First one's mine. <laughs> okay. First, I picked a bodysuit. Really, really, really want to try the bodysuit. These ones are supposed to be like seamless, really nice quality, so I'm excited to try them. I got a small, I got an XL, and I got a double XL. Definitely feels soft. Ooh. It's, 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 it's like a, it's kind of thick too, but like in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like if you're paying $50 for a bodysuit, I, I have high expectations. It's heavy. Like the, the density of the material is a lot heavier than I anticipated. I kind of like it. It feels like a weighted blanket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I want to do pair it with these jeans. They're the Curve Love, which I've never tried. Super excited. High rise, obviously. And just like a wash that I feel like is really popular and cute. These ones, the, they're the 90s Relax, right? Yes. Those are always just being shoved down my throat yes. on TikTok. This is one of the things I have added to cart. And then a bang. <laughs> I got a 28. I got a 32. And I got a 35 short, which they have a lot of length options, mm. which I really appreciate. In, in most of the jeans, they have three options. In some of the items we saw, they had like four options, five options. I'm nervous about their size chart, so I'm like <laughs> excited and nervous to try these on because I spent like 30 minutes comparing their size chart everywhere else. So we'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> They're like soft and starchy, I'm confused. Yeah, when I first took them out, I was like, oh, this is like a starchy denim, but they feel like they have a little bit of stretch. Yeah, I think they feel nice. I think they're cute. First impression, they're cute. We'll see how they look on. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted us to test their jackets because their jackets are so popular. The Sherpa one looked like a good option. It's cozy, it's cute. It was $101 though, so it's gotta be worth it. It's okay. gotta be worth it. Right, that's where I feel like I don't think of Abercrombie as like a high-end brand. I think of them as more like a mid-tier price, but their prices are definitely higher. Up there, yeah. yeah. I got a medium. I got an XL. And I got a double XL. Okay, this is soft. This is, feel the inside too. This Ooh, is actually you're right. The, at the outside, I was like, mm, but the inside, nice. <laughs> this is so much, honestly, looking at it in the package when you said the price, I was like, this is crap. <laughs> like it looks like, you know, that polyester feeling of like, it's just really dry feeling. This doesn't feel like this. It also has this detailing around all of the edges and the stitching's actually really nice. Like I, I get, oh, in the inside, you guys are right. Right? As a cold girl, I'm so excited, guys. The pockets are lined the same as the inside. Ooh. Ooh you're right. And I'm in sensory heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will say, I look like me. And we look like you. And you look like me. <laughs> and it's funny to see you guys look like me. 
I like this outfit. I like your style. Thank you. I do. Thank you. And I'm looking, I'm like, dang, taste. <laughs> I love this jacket more than I ever thought I was going to. Yeah, the jacket's really cozy. I am already starting to get a little sweaty. So I feel like for me, this is going to be a return, but I would still recommend it for people who live in like a colder climate because I have no complaints about like the quality, the sizing. It's a really nice jacket. It is. It's a nice jacket. It's warm and it's toasty, but it's cute. It's not like bulky. Well, it's not too bulky. Right. And that's a hard ba balance to find of like, okay, something that's actually going to keep you warm in the cold, but that still feels cute. Okay. So you're returning, but what do you I'm on think? The I'm keeping it. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm a cold girl and I've been freezing lately and I really, really like, I think it's unique, the structuring here and I really, really like it. So I think I will keep it. It's a really nice color on you too. It's like in your autumn color palette. Like I feel like it makes your hair pop. Yeah, yeah. My hair is very, very copper right now. And I <laughs> love it. We're going to rate every item out of 10 as is a standard for the brutally honest reviews. So I'm going to get, I'm going to give this jacket an eight. Um, I really have no complaints about it other than the fact that it is expensive and for our climate, it's not functional, but I still think it's a great jacket. I think I'm going to give it a six out of 10 for the similar reason of like, I feel like I would only wear this part of the year because we're in SoCal and the price is a little bit more than I would normally spend on like a nicer jacket. If it was cheaper, I feel like I would give it a nine or a 10. Like it is an amazing jacket. It's just, if I'm gonna spend $100 on a jacket, is this the one I would pick? For that exact reason, I think I'm gonna give it like an 8.59. I, I have no complaints other than it's like expensive. And like, I don't know if I would, if I was gonna spend $100, like this would be my first choice, but I do love it. Like I have no complaints about it. Okay, now the bodysuit. See, I feel like in, losing the jacket, I now no longer look like Kenzie and I just look like I'm in like an improv group. <laughs> we look like we're in an improv group. We're in an improv group and you're just, I'm you. just Kenzie. <laughs> okay, but aside from our, our improv troopness, um, this is a great bodysuit. This is a great bodysuit. I think the thing that like makes it stand out from other bodysuits I've tried is like the sleeves are single, but this front panel and I think the back panel are double lined. Yes, and I really like that. I think it helps keep it a very smooth silhouette. Seamless, like yes. it's called, yeah. So it's like, it's seamless, it's nice, it's smooth, and it feels nice. The quality feels nice. And you know what else? This was actually really easy to button because it's so stretchy. Yes. I feel like usually I'm kind of like, especially being pregnant, I'm like, all right, let me just right. figure out how to get this button. And this was very easy. So I appreciate it. Keep that. return. <sighs> Not you having to think about it. I know, but I'm like, it's white. This is so impractical <laughs> in my life. Okay. I want to blame it on having a toddler, but also like just as a very messy person, I feel like it's going to get stained so fast, but it is fully white. So like I could bleach it, but you're not going to do think that. Of, <laughs> think that's true. Think of the outfits, like with a skirt, with jeans, with shorts, with pajamas. It's such a good layering basic. Yes. I'm sorry, go back to the pajamas. Oh, please <laughs> turn your pajamas into a fit. I think I'm gonna pass. I think I'm gonna return it only because, I mean, obviously you guys can't see it right now, but the, the strap to connect underneath is like way too long on mine. Mm. Everything else I feel like fits pretty well. I like the proportions, nothing's like too tight, too baggy, but it's just too long for my torso, which is weird because I'm a tall, person. I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving her like, again, like a 9.5 out of 10. I think maybe if it was like a little bit cheaper, just because you're right, like what are the chances it's going to get stained when I take it off? Right. Just going over my makeup <laughs> or something. But I love it. The quality is nice. Like I have no complaints. I think I'm going to be up there with Kenzie. I would rate it like an eight out of 10 Ooh, for mm -hmm. sure. I like the price point. Slave. I think that it's really, really nice. And if I were a person who was like super into bodysuits, I would definitely shop Abercrombie bodysuits again. Yeah, I'd give this an eight out of 10 as well. I think this is probably one of those things where like, you're not gonna find much nicer of a bodysuit than this. You're gonna find ones that are more expensive, but I can't see a quality that would be better than this. It still is expensive, but I think at least for the price, you are getting a really nice bodysuit. Now let's talk about these jeans. Oh. Because I am obsessed. Yes. Yes. With these jeans. They're really cute. Kenzie, you killed it. Thank these you. are like amazing. I can't believe it took me this long to try these. Yeah. No, these are like a, these are, I mean, not, I, I've simply said keep to everything, <laughs> but these are like a no brainer keep for me. These are like incredible, like going to be a regular staple for yeah. me. Yeah, I can't believe that these are as stretchy as they are. Like, I'm like, I can stretch, I can move, I don't can need lunge. <laughs> yeah, we can lunge. I don't feel restricted in my movement, yeah. but they don't look like a jegging. Right. Like they have that very starchy kind of 
90s, more structured look and somehow still have stretch to them. And, and like soft. Yes. They're, they're, they're com I could wear these on an airplane. I think they are so cute. They feel like something that like you would steal from your mom's closet from like the 90s. Maybe they sure. have that like already worn in feeling yeah. that like your favorite pair of jeans have. Yeah, I fully agree. These are like amazing jeans. The fit is perfect for me. I am a little confused on the length. Like I'm happy with the length of my jeans. They're perfect. But considering that I got a short, and you got a regular and you're three inches shorter than me and they look the same. Three. I'm five, five and a half. Well, I'm, I'm five, four and a half, but like round up. I'm five, three. <laughs> Where'd you get three inches? Yeah, speaking of towering over Kenzie, my <laughs> jeans are, uh, I'm five, seven and a half. I also just got the regular jeans, the same ones with Kenzie, but I got them in a 32. And uh, I'm not having the same moment in the sun as you are. Yeah, how do you feel about the length? I think I like them. I don't like my jeans to be too long. I feel like I am somebody who likes to cuff my jeans, so I would probably mm. cuff these once or twice, but I like them and would wear them as is. 10 out of 10 for Kenzie. I think I'm gonna give you nine out of 10. I really, really like these, but they're not like my 10 out of 10 jeans. Yeah, I'm like tempted to give them a 10 because I literally cannot think of a single complaint, but I'm also like, are these the perfect jeans? Maybe? Yes. You think so? Yes! <laughs> Okay, you know what? I am very hesitant with my 10s, but the more I'm in these jeans, I'm just like, these are fantastic. I'm gonna give them a 10. <laughs> they live up to the TikTok hype. They do live up to the hype. All right, outfit number two. A sweat set, obviously. It wouldn't be a Kenzie outfit if there wasn't cozy. <laughs> <laughs> so for the sweatshirt, I got a medium, and for the sweatpants, I got a small. For the top, I got a large, and for the bottoms, I got a large. I wanted to get a double XL in both, but the sweatshirt ended at an XL, whereas the pants went up to a double XL. So I got the XL in the sweatshirt. We'll see how it fits, but um, I have a good feeling about the pants. <laughs> both pieces were $59 each. This has that like nice kind of worn in feeling that I love. Uh, I hate when things feel like too Ooh. starchy. No, yeah. you're so right. The inside's an interesting material though. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be so sheep-like. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels, and it kind of looks like on the inside, like it's, it, it is worn in, right? Mm. It's been washed, it's been worn. I personally like that, mm -hmm. but I feel like mine has a lot of those like little pill things though. And those tend to drive me crazy. Like I will spend four hours picking off every single one. You say as Jess starts picking yeah. off every single one. <laughs> I also really like this like structured detail cause it's a slightly different fabric, but you can't tell because of how the garments dyed where I feel like it's actually stretching. Now the moment of truth, does the zipper actually work or is it just a zipper? It, it works! <laughs> okay, we look really cute in these. We look super cute, and like with the matching sneakers and everything. It's a vibe, it's a look. I'm comfy, but I don't like how it looks. Oh, mm. uh, really? I think you look so cute. I think you look cute too. I feel cute. I think it's just like the proportions of everything. For me, yeah. like it's, if I move my arms out, I, that piece I really liked at the beginning is now, I think the reason I'm not loving the top. I like the pants a lot. The top, not so much. I sized up in the top because I really like an oversized fit. So like the pants are small, my top's a medium. Mm -hmm. I think yours is a large and a large, right? Yeah, it's a I large and a large. I wonder if you would like it better if you did like an extra large Maybe. or something. I am surprised. I like the inside fabric more than I did during the unboxing. I wasn't sure about it, but it's it's warm and it's cozy and it's soft. It's softer than I thought it would be. So they feel like warm, but they don't feel heavy. They're still very like lightweight sweats, which I really like. I just love that like worn in mm -hmm. feel. This feels like something that has been like well worn and well loved in your closet mm -hmm. and that you get excited to put on because it's just like your favorite thing, but it's yeah. new. I, I don't know. I don't know how they do that. I don't know what they do, but what magic is in this fabric, but I really like it. It's very relaxed, but it still feels high quality. Yeah. And it's cute too. I don't feel like frumpy. Yeah. And the, the pants especially, I feel like it's really hard for me to find sweats that look like, like outfit sweats is what I would call them versus like home sweats. Like, right. you know how celebrities will wear like sweats, but they'll dress it up. And I'm like, when I wear sweats, I look like I just rolled out of bed yeah. five minutes ago. These, I feel like, give the vibe that you can dress them up a little bit. Like throw a trench coat on, yeah. grab a cute bag. Like, that's cute. I'm also sensing a theme, Kenzie, with your picks. Yeah, um, it's very sad beige baby. I <laughs> didn't branch out with the colors, but you've both said positive things. So All the neutrals work for the girlies. Yeah, I'm really happy with both of these pieces. I feel like also the top fits better than I expected with it being an XL. I was afraid that it would be too tight and I would lose that like loose fitting, comfortable feel, but I don't feel that way at all. I really like it. Um, I would give the top a nine out of 10. 
And the pants, I'm gonna give an eight out of 10 just because as much as I do love the look of these, I feel like I got a little bit of diaper butt in the back. Like it's not, it's not as bad as some sweats, but I'm like, I wish they were just a little, a little more fitted. But now that, now that I'm staring at my butt extensively in the camera, I'm like, you know, it's not, it's okay. Cute. Your butt looks cute. It's, it's less diapery. I think I'm gonna rate them both a six out of 10. I do like them. I actually, you know what, I'm gonna change the, the sweat bottoms to like a seven out of 10 because I really like how thin the pockets are too. Yeah. Like for SoCal getting to wear sweats that like look like this and fit like this, they usually feel too warm. And these, both of being like the worn in material on the inside and how like thin but soft the pockets are, I'm like, I would wear these with other things. I just don't think I would wear the matching set because proportionally, this isn't doing it for me. I'm gonna say nine out of 10. I don't have complaints other than each piece was $59. Right. And so I can't go out and I can't get it in every color. But I mean, I don't have any complaints, like other than I can't buy 50 pairs. So next we have my first outfit and I really wanted to do a holiday dress. So I went with this one, the Emerson satin long sleeve mini dress. It was $76.10. I got a double XL. I got an XL tall. And I got a small. Shall we unbox? Yeah. The color. This is way prettier than it looked online. Yeah. This is like gorgeous. Oh, it, she's mini. <gasps> she has pockets. <laughs> Yay! She, but she might be showing the goods. Yeah. <laughs> I want, I'm interested to see the comparison in the length for Jess's since she got the tall. The length looks more like a baby doll top, you yes. know? Yes. That were really popular like when we yes. were in middle school. This usually wouldn't be my pick for a silhouette for a dress, but being pregnant, this is kind of ideal because I can wear it now when I'm only 17 weeks, but I, it'll also kind of flow over the bump. So hopefully I can continue to wear it. Flow over the bump and make it even shorter. <laughs> That's an excellent point that I did not think about. So <laughs> perhaps I will wear some non-sheer leggings <laughs> underneath because, whew. well, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, um, Sierra, while I love this dress, I do feel like an American Girl doll. I was thinking the same thing, like the matching outfits from the catalog where it's like, you can match your doll in their holiday dress. Okay, I love it. I think we should all show up to the Schultze holiday party <laughs> in this dress. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a yes for me. I really love this dress, although it's very much emphasizing the bump. Like, I feel like in the first two outfits, I was like, is she pregnant? Is she not? And this is like, she's ready to deliver. <laughs> so much so that I was like, oh, it's like a high, high low back. But no, we that's- like, no, it's not. Just my stomach. But that being said, it is not as short as yeah. I was worried about. I like, I feel like mine fits like a little different than you guys. You guys look like you have more room. I feel like I'm in a corset up here. I feel like my boobs are being squished to my chest. Yeah, that's interesting. But Why is it so tight in the small? And then I feel like I've got plenty of room here. It's not tight. It's not like smushing me. I definitely read a lot of reviews where they said that the bust was a little tight. Mm. And so I ordered up a size normally. I would get a large in this and I got an XL. And so I feel like I almost have a little bit too much room in this. Mm. And then the sleeves feel a little bit big too and they keep falling down, which makes this fall down. I'm not sure if I would go to a size down after noticing what's happening with yours. It's interesting because I'm tight here, but I'm also like falling <laughs> down on the side. So I don't know, it might just be like because it's so square, the right. neckline is so square, I don't know. But I mean, it doesn't bother me, but if you're someone who gets bothered by feet, like I like to feel held in, but I mean, I can see how this would also feel really restricting for some people. So I don't know, it's still really cute though. Like I love it. It's like pretty and like it feels like, like it's not itchy, but. Yeah, it's a really nice material. I also love that it like has pockets. I don't have any fit issues. Like usually I do have that problem where tops sometimes will fall down my shoulder. I don't know what magic they put in the XXL, but it is just like perfect. And I love that this is something that I can wear now. I can continue to wear through my pregnancy. And next year, in theory, I could still totally wear this. For sure. sure. And it looks so cute with your bum. Bing. Yes. I, I feel like this really does emphasize <laughs> it where I'm like, oh my God, maternity shoot. <laughs> I don't know if for me, the quality is worth like nearly $80, but like it isn't bad by any means. I just, I feel like if I'm paying $80 for like a little dress, like, I don't know. I would want it to like fit right. And like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing at that price. It really does have to be perfect. And for me, I do feel like it lives up to that where I'm like, okay, $80 is really expensive for a dress, but to me in this and how like good I feel in this, 
I feel like it's worth it for me. I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it too. I'm really excited about this. I'm like thinking about how many wares I can try to get out of it this holiday season. I'm like, okay, team holiday party, Grace's Nutcracker performance, <laughs> my family holiday. I'm like, I'm going to wear this for everything. New Year's. New Year's, exactly. Um, I would give it mm, like, Eight out of 10, I don't really have complaints. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I just wish it was slightly longer, but for me, other than that, it's perfect. I think I'm also gonna give it a nine out of 10. I like the overall construction. I like the fabric. I love the color. I love the length for me and the XL tall. Super excited about it. All right, our next outfit, my second pick. I really wanted to try some of their trousers. Yes. This is another one that TikTok really, really pushes for me. The ANF Sloan tailored pants. These were 76.20. I got a 36 short in these. I got a 32 and I got a 28. I need trousers, so I am praying to the Abercrombie gods that these fit. <laughs> They're cute, but I feel like looking at them, I don't know, at least just holding them up, the cut is giving more like true office wear pants than like cool girl loose tailored pants. Mm, that's true, I don't really have a lot of places to wear these, but I want them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do this, but these are giving me grandfather pants mm. like and my grandfather is a stylish man but <laughs> i think maybe it's the material that's making it kind of give that vibe because i thought they were going to be lighter and more like i don't know less structured you know like structured at the top and then they kind of flow, flow. off like i said they've looked great on everyone i've seen so maybe they'll be different we'll once we put them on and then i paired this with one of their short sleeve cotton blend bodysuits it was 3805 and i got it in a double xl i got it in an xl and I got it in a medium. Oh, this feels nice. This feels nice. <laughs> it's that same heavy material from the white yes. bodysuit. Super stretchy. This is Kim Possible Goes Corporate. <laughs> totally. Yeah. No, just get me a, a doofy blonde guy and a naked mole rat. I'm good to go. <laughs> you know what, though? You saying that actually makes me like this more because I'm not like as crazy about these pants as I wanted to be. And so I feel like I've been like, oh, these aren't, they're not giving what I needed them to give to live up to the price point. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, oh my, Kim Possible in the office, okay. They're really cute, they're really comfy. I mean, I don't really wear trousers, so I don't know what the quality feels like to other ones. And I wanna say I wanna keep them, but then I'm like, you're like a stay-at-home mom 90% of the time. Like, you don't have an office to go to, but like, but like they're cute they are cute but they're not honestly they're not as like cool as i wanted them to they're be not like the street wear yes they're they're mm -hmm. definitely they're like office. we're going to a meeting yeah i think that's my like biggest issue with them also i'm having like a weird sizing thing where like i sized up in these and now they are perfect in the legs like i love this baggy look i wouldn't want to size down but in the waist they're loose which i didn't expect to have that issue being that i'm four months pregnant but i'm like well if they're this loose now i could not wear these not pregnant i want to like these and in previous jobs like I've worn and owned so many pairs of trousers and I really like how I think these are supposed to fit and looking at them on both of you, but like they're just too short. Yeah, for, for being supposed to be high-waisted, I feel like I'm pulling them down to like my actual hips as much as I can and they're still riding up in the crotch and they're also like not long enough for a trouser look going onto the ankles for me. Do you think if you got the long, they would be better? I think so. I also think I might, even though like I like this and it's stretchy, I might size up. Cause mm. if I'm like, I don't know, sitting at a desk all day, that's very different than like standing up straight right now to try these on. Mm. Right, and then that gives the baggier look too. True. How do we feel <laughs> about the bodysuits? Love it. I like it. I feel the same as I did like with the white one, just like the quality is really nice. I like the seamlessness. It holds you in, but it's like breathable. It's comfy. Yeah, I definitely like this one a lot more. And I don't know if it's just cause I'm a person who like lives in black most of the time, but it has the double paneling like Kenzie said. And I feel like I just feel very like comfortable. It breathes well and I feel like held in and secure. A hundred percent agree. And it just looks so nice and so sleek. This is definitely a keep for me and also has now made me realize that I do want to for sure return the white long sleeve because I'm like, this is everything I loved about that, but I can't really stain it and it's short sleeve. So this is this is a yes. This might be overkill for just a plain black bodysuit, but I am going to give this a 10 out of 10. I think it's like the perfect bodysuit. I love it. I actually think I'm going to agree with Sierra. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Like I, I'm not even clocking that it's a bodysuit because it fits right everywhere it needs to fit right. I agree, honestly. I think it's a 10 out of 10 for me too. <laughs> and it's interesting because this is a medium and my white one was a small, but I think I like, at least in the short sleeve, I do like the medium better. And what about the pants? 
I mean, I don't, I definitely don't have anything negative to say about them. Like they're comfy, I think they're cute. They were almost $80 though, and I personally don't have anywhere to wear them, so I wouldn't pay $80 for them, but I don't know. I think maybe like a 7.5 out of 10, and I'm, I'm on the fence. I feel like I should return them, but like they're cute. I actually think I'm gonna give the pants, even though I think they're cute, this is the size I normally would have ordered based off of the reviews too for how they fit. So I actually think I'm gonna give these like a four out of 10 because they are not the length or like fit that I would need to wear them comfortably for what they're intended or just like in general. I like can't wait to get them off my body a little bit. Mm. Yeah, the fabric also is a little itchy. I'm like, I'm just not loving the whole experience of wearing these pants. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. I think if you work in an office setting and you have maybe a more similar build to Kenzie where they're just gonna flow off of you like that, these could be a great pick, but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more street wear, or if you're curvier or have long legs, these aren't gonna be just like a straight, easy win. For my first outfit, I wanted to do jeans and a sweater. As you can see, um, we are we don't have completed outfits. Kenzie does. I do. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Abercrombie gods had different plans for Sarah. <laughs> yeah. So I had ordered this cable wedge crew sweater in this like pretty ivory white, and that was 59.18, and then the jeans are the Curve Love Ultra High Rise 90s straight jean, and they were $76. So I got a sweater, Sierra got some pants, and Kenzie got the whole shebang. <laughs> I guess they love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try on what we have, um, but we'll get to see the full look on Kenzie, and I'm so sad I don't get to try on the jeans. I know, especially because these were your, your pick. pick. I know. You know what? Next time. We ordered all this stuff like two weeks ago and everything got shipped. And then just this one package with these two items has not updated since it got to like the first shipping location. So it is currently lost. Anywhere. Could be. We'll try on what we have though. I got the jeans in a 36 regular. I got the top in an extra large. I got the top in a medium and the pants in a 28. Oh my God. Feel. Yeah, this feel. This feels really nice. It's giving, um, when Harry met Sally, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm glad to know that the like knit pattern did what I wanted it to do. Yeah, it's cute, it's soft. Please describe the jeans, tell me. Well, feel. I don't like them as much as I want to. <laughs> well, maybe it's good you just got lost. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I feel like I really have to put these on to know yeah, how they feel. Because they're sure. that kind of dark wash, a little bit of stretch, not too much. We'll mm. have to try it. We shall see. I. I only have the sweater on, but I do really, really like the sweater. I like that I can like tuck it in. I like that I could have it out. I feel like I could layer a lot with this. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, it looks so cute on you. Thanks. This is like very, yes, I love it. Mm, this is the first outfit I'm not loving. I feel like Bob the Builder in these pants. <laughs> They're also like way too big. They're the same size as the other ones, but like they feel so oversized. The sweater is really, really soft though. Like I will say it's really soft. I just feel like it's, I feel like I'm constantly have my face in like a fluffy cat. I don't like all the like little fluff particles touching me all the time. Like it's almost too much. It's almost too much for me, although it's really soft. It is, it's very soft. And I just feel like it. it's the type of fluffy that would make my hair feel staticky and I cannot stand that. But it's cute. Yeah, these jeans are also too big on me, but I thought it was just because I got a bigger size in these than the first jeans and the first ones like fit me like a glove. But it's interesting that they're too big on you too and you got the same the size. Same, yeah, so it's kind of weird. I got a 28 in the first jeans and I got a 28 in these and they fit very differently. They're both the curve love too, which is like kind of confusing. So I mean, I guess if you're buying jeans, don't just assume the right. size is the same across the board because for me it's not. Yeah, and that bothers me because having inconsistent sizing when you're shopping online, especially like for me, Abercrombie doesn't carry all of their sizes in store. So I couldn't go into a store and try things on. I have to really go by the size chart, my past experience, and to not be able to assume that the right. size is going to be consistent is tough. Quality of the jeans is pretty good though. Like they don't have quite that same stretchiness as the first ones, but they're not, they're not too bad. So to me, these are a return. I'm gonna give them, it's hard to say because they're not the right size, but you know, I'll give them a six out of 10. Um, I'd probably rate them like a five out of 10. In the sweater, it is very soft but for me personally, I just feel <laughs> like I have hair everywhere and it's just like I'm itchy and hot. And so I'm also gonna return the sweater, but I mean, it is nice. It's like good quality. So I'd say like maybe like a six out of 10. I think for the sweater, now that I've stood in it for, you know, a couple minutes, 
It is warm. It is toasty. I do like that. I am run pretty cold most of the time. So I think I would definitely keep this. I'm interested to see though, once I wash it a couple times, if the like fuzzies that Kenzie brought up, cause as I've moved around in it more, I'm seeing them float around, <laughs> but I do really like it. And I feel cozy and I like how thin that it is. So this is definitely a keep. And I think I would rate this like a seven out of 10. So for my next outfit, we have all the pieces. Hooray! <laughs> Huzzah! We have a ruched shell top in black, and that was $33.82. And then for the bottoms, we have the matte satin midi skirt, and that was $59.19. When you sent this over, I got so excited about this outfit. I just think it's so cute. I've been dying to try this skirt. Aww. I'm a little nervous about how it's gonna fit because they were sold out of the XXL, so I did go with the 3XL. Hopefully it fits. And then for the ruched top, I got a double XXL. I got the top in a large and the skirt in an XL. I'm nervous too. I think it's really cute, but I had the opposite problem. We, I sized down in the skirt to a small petite, and then this shirt is, I got in a small, so we'll see. My gosh, this is so cute. This is cute. This feels different, but I like it. I don't know why I was expecting this to be, even though Matt's in the name, so you'd think it'd be self-explanatory. On the website, I felt like it looked more like shiny, like some of those yeah. silk midi skirts. Yeah, it looks kind of like satiny, silky. Yeah. But I actually like this a lot more. It's got a stretchy elastic waistband, which we love. I'm curious to see the length, because it's supposed to be like a midi, but I got like the petite length. Right. So We'll see. The top, ooh, this ooh. is, the fabric like, feels really nice. It's like slippery. She's slinky. It's almost giving like, it thought about being a turtleneck and then it decided yeah. it <laughs> wasn't the lifestyle for it. I wanna say I don't regret ordering this outfit, but I regret picking this outfit. <laughs> and it's not like, in theory, I feel like it's cute. Hypothetically, it's cute. It's like when you're sc like scrolling on Pinterest and you're like, oh, save that, yeah, I'd absolutely wear that. And then you go to put it on and you're like, this is not the vibe. No, I literally, this was the outfit I was most excited about. Jess, that is not on you. That is on Abercrombie. <laughs> I feel catfished. Not only do I feel like the skirt is not midi at all, like it's just too long. Um, and while I did order one size up, this is a lot more than one size too big on me. The only way I can keep it up is by like tucking it under the ruching. And even still, I'm like, <laughs> just, hey. <laughs> it's a business in the front. Party in the back. <laughs> I actually think, so I ordered an XL because I saw some of the reviews say this was tighter and with like midi satiny skirts I've had before, there's not a lot of give. So I sized up when I would normally order a large and I kind of regret it. So I'm gonna pull this to the side, but like with it that tight, I still have so much wiggle room here. And I feel like if I was gonna wear this comfortably, I would want it a little more fitted than this. Yeah, I think it definitely runs big, although it looks, really nice on Kenzie, but you did get the petite. I know, and I was I was nervous about getting the petite, not because, I mean, I guess this whole video is me thinking I'm not short, and I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an inch and three quarters taller, and don't you forget it. But yeah, I was nervous about the petite, and I feel like mine's the only one that's like a midi. Like, it's yeah. a true midi skirt. Um, I think it's cute, it feels like fine. I don't like, a, I'm not like obsessed with the way it like lays on me, but I mean, it's cute. Yeah. The top, I feel like I'm entering like a bodybuilding <laughs> contest. It looked so cute online. Again, catfish, like the ruching and the mock neck. I was like, this is gonna be such a fit. And it is such a flop. Honestly, like I feel like this isn't even just like, oh, I got too big of a size. I feel like this is like, I would need like two sizes down. Like I, maybe I should try your skirt because you got an XL. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. I think a double yeah. XL would probably still be too big. Okay, I take back every mean thing I said about this skirt because in the XL, this is perfect. I love it, I'm so happy. And I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> but hey, muscle tank for real now. I, I mean. It looks cute with the jeans. I actually, made, this makes me like the shirt more. Yeah. Like I think I will keep the shirt now. Oh. oh. It's really giving 80s. I feel like my dad in some of his like college photos. <laughs> 80s? I, yes. 90s. Yeah, all of my feelings about this skirt changed. Like it fits so nice. I still love that the waist is stretchy, but it's not falling down. The length is much better. It's like a true midi. I just think it's so cute. It's like silky, it's comfy. And I, I've been on such a kick with skirts like this lately. Oh my God, I love it. I'm like, I've the first one I was gonna rate like a two out of 10 and now I'm like nine out of 10. <laughs> I do love this skirt. This is gonna be a keep for me. Nine out of 10, 
top um i'm not crazy about the fit but also now that i'm not like as distracted by the skirt i like it more um and it is a really nice material the ruching is cute i'll give this one a six out of ten i think i'm gonna rate the top i actually agree with you i think a six out of ten feels right i like it has that double layer thing we talked about in all the bodysuits so i feel like compressed it feels breathable it's soft it's black i can't stain it so I really like it and I like where it hits. And what about the skirt? Four out of 10. I think the skirt's cute. I just, I feel like it kind of hugs me in weird places. I think I'm gonna return it just because I like so much of the other stuff better, but I'd give it like a seven out of 10. The top, I feel bad giving it a low rating because the quality really is so nice. However, my arms, don't like it, so I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> I feel like the quality across everything that we've tried from Abercrombie is has been really consistent and really fantastic. Like the prices are still a little like, oh, that's expensive, but the quality at least is there. Yeah, I haven't really shopped at Abercrombie since like middle school when it was like you had to, <laughs> and I kind of just always looked back at it as like the mousse and like the word Abercrombie. So, but I love Abercrombie if it's not with my card because <laughs> it's expensive and I need like an Abercrombie daddy or something. <laughs> it's me, I'm your Abercrombie daddy. It's me, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> I am your Abercrombie daddy. I am daddy. your Abercrombie daddy. Uh, I actually really, I think, I don't know other than I love the dress, yeah. but I don't know if I would reach for Abercrombie again unless I was shopping curve love and even still watching the size discrepancy with y'alls i definitely would be a little hesitant and i would be planning on returning if it wasn't something i could try on in store but i'm still very interested with the jeans yeah those jeans i think are definitely like the standout for me for this video honestly i'm like I could wear, like I'm going to Disney World next week. I could pack, the, I could wear those. And the fact that I'm thinking about wearing jeans to Disney while pregnant, like that's how good they are. They're really that good. And they had a lot of cute pieces that felt more grown up than the Abercrombie that we grew up with. Right. Which I think is a big reason that they've kind of been on this like second wind, like they're <laughs> rising again because the people who shopped with them when they were young, they're marketing to them now mm -hmm. for office wear, for dressier stuff, but also for like a really solid pair of jeans. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I was ready to be a lot more brutal with this brutally honest review. I'm here for it. I love Abercrombie again. Yeah, there were a lot of hits. And I think also there were quite a few items that worked amazing for all three of us even though we're wearing different sizes we have different bodies different proportions and we have different styles yeah. we have different tastes and things and there were things like the jeans and the dress and the bodysuits that we universally loved yeah. all right well that is our brutally honest review of abercrombie i hope you guys enjoyed it links to all these items are going to be down in the description if you've shopped from them recently let us know your thoughts in the comments and uh we will see you next time bye, bye.